Hey friends, this is Pastor Craig and I'd like to welcome you to Ask Pastor Craig. My question this evening is this, I have a really difficult time believing that God loves me. In fact, it's hard for me to accept and receive the love that God has for me as well as my friends and family. I don't know why this is so difficult. Why is it so hard for me to allow others to love me? Thank you for your question. I really appreciate it. You know, honestly, um, I don't know all the reasons, and there can be so many, of why it's difficult for you to accept and receive love from those around you and from God as well. It could be events that happened in your childhood. It could be times that you were rejected by um, someone that you loved very dearly. Or it could be bad teaching from peers or a pastor or a Sunday school teacher. You know, bad theology uh, about God and about your friends and family. There's lots of reasons why, at times, it's difficult for us to believe that we can be loved. But honestly, I think it's really critical and important that first we learn to love ourselves and we accept that. We learn that God loves us and we accept and receive that. And we learn that there are people in our lives, there may be few, but there are people in our lives who really care about us and love us. When it comes to God, this is pretty simple. Right? Because Jesus says over and over and over, I have loved you with an everlasting love. John 3 16, I, uh, for God so loved the world, he sent his one and only son. If you want to know what God is like, and it's funny because I get this question a lot, I know what Jesus is like, but what's God like? Well, 1 John tells us that Jesus is the image of the unseen God. If you've seen Jesus, you've seen God. Because the personality traits that Jesus has, the love and the compassion that Jesus has, uh, well, that's exactly the same as God the Father, right? So it's important that we understand this. If you want to know what God's like, you look to Jesus. He's the image of the unseen God. And what was Jesus? Well, he was loving. He was compassionate. He was caring. He was gracious. And he was loving to those that didn't deserve it. He was loving to those that failed and loving to those that had fallen short and loving to those who had even... uh, Uh, really made serious mistakes. Jesus' love, it didn't know boundaries. It didn't have conditions. So you, my friend, no matter what you've done or the current status of your life, you have to believe and understand and know that God loves you. Deeply, with great compassion, with great intensity, you are loved. And it all comes down to whether or not you believe that God's word is true. The things that he said about you and the things that he said about himself, are they true or are your feelings true? So many times we get trapped up in our feelings, which um, can be a real lie. In fact, James Dobson wrote a book. It's a pretty old one, but it's called Emotions. Can you trust them? You don't necessarily have to read the whole book to get the gist of it. And that's this. A lot of times we feel things, but that doesn't make them true. I really encourage you to begin to examine your emotions, begin to examine why you feel some of the things that you feel, and uh, make a statement of truth, you know, about how God loves you and things of that nature. I think it'll be helpful to you. Well, God bless you. Thank you for listening this evening. Uh, If you have a question that we haven't covered, we'd really love to hear from you. You can reach us in one of two ways at my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Pastor Craig Online, or this radio program's Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash ROR Ministries. God bless you.